Hi everyone, it's is Susie. I'm here with my review of Tiger Lily by Jodie Lynn Anderson. So Tiger Lily was one of those books that I just didn't think I was going to enjoy. When I first started reading it, I really wasn't enjoying it and I honestly didn't see what all the fuss was about. But that very quickly changed. I couldn't even pinpoint when I fell in love with this story because it just happened so quickly. One minute I was considering giving up and the next minute I was extremely invested in this story and wanted to know how it was going to end. Tiger Lily is such a unique story. It's narrated by Tinkerbell who is a fairy who observes everything that happens in this book. Fairies are mute in this story so Tinkerbell isn't really an active part of the story but she's always there. Tink really cares for the characters in this book and it was horrible having to see her not being able to help. It broke my heart. Tink never knew if her presence was noticed by Tiger Lily or Peter, but she cared for both of these characters and loved them deeply. She had a special bond with both of them, but her bond with Tiger Lily was my favourite. Her bond with Peter broke me. Tiger Lily was an interesting character. She was an outsider in her tribe and people were basically terrified of her. They thought that she was bringing down curses and causing people to die, so it was pretty funny seeing them being terrified of her, but it was also pretty sad because Tiger Lily was basically left herself most of the time. Tiger Lily is really different from all of the other girls in her tribe. She'd much rather be out hunting than sewing and they say that she doesn't belong uh, hunting with the guys because she is a girl. But Tiger Lily isn't interested in conforming to what she should be doing. I admire Tiger Lily though. She stayed true to herself throughout this whole book and that's mainly what I loved about her. Peter Pan was intriguing and mysterious in this book. He was absolutely nothing like the Disney version, but this Peter in Tiger Lily is definitely my favourite version. He's just a young boy who saved other young boys from the pirates and they basically created their own family. Peter and the Lost Boys were my favourite part of this book. I always found myself anxiously awaiting Tiger Lily's next visit to see Peter and the Lost Boys because I just loved how they all treated her as an equal and she got to be herself with them. Tiger Lily and Peter's relationship almost killed me. As soon as they started meeting, I wanted them together so bad. Peter and Tiger Lily just had this amazing bond that showed they were perfect for each other and I just loved seeing them together. But of course, Tiger Lily and Peter never stood a chance because of Wendy. I always liked Wendy in Peter Pan, but in this version, I really hated her. She comes along in her fancy ship with her pretty face and her pretty dresses and basically sweep Peter off his feet. Not only is this hard for Tiger Lily, it's also hard for Tinkerbell. Tink loves Peter too, probably more than Tiger Lily does, but she was willing to ignore her feelings for Tiger Lily, but she's not willing to ignore her feelings for Wendy. Tink was trying to do everything she could to get rid of Wendy and when I saw this in the Disney version, I really didn't like Tinkerbell for it, but in this one I found myself rooting for Tinkerbell and hoping that she would do something absolutely horrible to Wendy and that Wendy would just go away and possibly die. I just, I didn't like Wendy and I really rooted for Tinkerbell and her anger towards Wendy. So Tinkerbell and Peter and also Tiger Lily and Peter and Tiger Lily and Tinkerbell made me cry so many times during this book. But it was mostly Tink that had me in tears. Since she was narrating the story, it was her emotions and feelings that I was getting. And seeing her heart ache over Peter and her heart breaking for Tiger Lily just made me lose it. There were also a few intertwining storylines that played important parts in this book. The whole story with Philip, who is an Englishman coming into the tribe, was a major part of this book. At first I liked Philip, but then he started spouting religious shit and confusing the people in the tribe. They became determined to make themselves better so that God would look down upon them and love them. This led them to outcast TikTok because he dressed like a woman. That whole storyline was heartbreaking and the way it ended just had me bawling my eyes out. Captain Hook's me and his pirates were also in this book which I really enjoyed. I've always really liked Hook and the pirates in every version of Peter Pan so I'm glad they were included in this one. 
there wasn't really much difference in the storyline of what Hook was doing because he was determined to get rid of Peter like he is in every adaptation of Peter Pan or everything that Hook's in. But I did really enjoy the parts that he was in and he wasn't as horrible as he has been in previous retellings or in the original so I did really like Hook in this one. I cried the most at the ending. That letter at the end just ripped me apart. I was already teary and crying slightly because of what happened before because I was heartbroken for Tiger Lily and Tinkerbell but the letter was a tipping point and I just sobbed. It was heartbreaking. Overall Tiger Lily is definitely one of the most beautiful books I have ever read. This one was also in my top 13 of 2013 because it was such an amazing book. I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars and it's one that I definitely, definitely recommend to everyone because it was such a beautiful and unbelievable story and I really, really think that everyone should give this book a go. So that was my review for Tiger Lily by Jodie Lynn Anderson. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.